Ik in mijn boek. I know I be on some bullshit. No, I be driving you crazy. But I know you love how I whip it. You could only stay mad for a minute. So come in and give me some kisses. You know I'm very delicious. You know I'm very Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Today is Tuesday the 29th of November. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up for about an hour and a half getting myself together because we got some errands. What's new? Um, so let me show you my outfit. It's so cute. Y'all seen me buy this jacket in my, not the first day of Vlogmas, but my last weekly vlog before Vlogmas started. <sighs> Tell me it's not so stinking cute. I wish I could have gotten this jacket in a two, so it would be like, but that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. This is a Lululemon set in their pink peony collection or color. This is the seven eighths legging. I kind of like for my angles to show a little bit. I feel like it makes my legs look a little shorter, so it makes my body look more proportioned because I know I got really long legs and a really short torso. And that's also why I like this jacket because it's very long line, so it makes my waist my torso look elongated. Okay, it's getting proportional. But no, I really like it. So um, that's what I have on. And then I just threw on my dirty ass. <sighs> I need to take a day clean. It probably look cream on camera. This is supposed to be stark white. It's filthy, but that's okay. And then I just have on my really dirty. So clearly all of the things that are white are dirty. The bag, the shoes is dirty. Um, my, my earrings are from Oma the Label black owned jewelry brand and then I just have my hair slicked up in this ponytail but we're taking this out tonight these tapes are coming out so that's the look for perfume I'm wearing Angel Share by Killian okay getting some water oh and Theo is I think I said this in the last yesterday's vlog Theo's fine <laughs> perfectly freaking fine mm. Okay, so my last weekly vlog, y'all know I had talked about how I bought this bloom because all the girls on TikTok are like, oh, to keep me from bloating and, and, you know, my digestive health, I drink the bloom stuff, the super greens. So I posted on Instagram and I was like, hey, has anybody tried this? I'm drinking it this morning. This tasted terrible, number one. Um, but everybody told me I got the wrong flavor, so that's my fault. But then also everyone was like, it does absolutely nothing for you. So I was like, <laughs> so everybody told me I was better off taking L-glutamine for bloating and just like helping with the stomach. Um, I actually am gonna go see a specialist soon about my gut health because I just feel like I should. Um, Y'all are gonna be like, oh, your stomach's so flat. My stomach is flat because I had lipo, but when I eat, your stomach is not supposed, like your stomach's not supposed to like bloat because you eat. You get what I'm saying? Like that means that you're having some inflammation or whatever the girl they could be calling me. So I'm gonna go to the doctor, but anyways, this is what I'm taking. Oh, um, I took this yesterday. I've been taking it for the past two days, and I feel like it's been helping, but also I've been eating less too, so I feel like I've just gotten everything together in general. But anyways, down the hatch it goes. Mm -hmm. And they had a bunch of different brands. They also had L-glutamine powder if you wanted to put it in stuff, but I would just rather take a pill. Um, I bought this brand. It's more expensive than other brands on the Amazon, on Amazon, but I believe I bought it because, <clears throat> number one, it's cuter. <clears throat> um, but also, it had really good reviews. Like, it had the most reviews, I'm pretty sure. I might be making that up. Don't quote me. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's go. So what we're doing today, I have a furniture pickup. So CB2, I bought a dining table and chairs for my rooftop. And they were like, well, we can deliver it to you, but we won't deliver it until January but it's in stock or you can pick it up from this warehouse um, and it'll be ready. It was ready last week. I said, oh, well, I'm gonna pick it up. But then, you know, I didn't think about the fact that it's not gonna fit in my car. <laughs> so we're going to Home Depot to rent a flatbed truck. And then we gonna drive, pick up the stuff, put it in my car, put it in and then bring it back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then my contractors are also coming today to take my cabinets back to repaint them because he said they didn't do a good job basically. So, and then I had ordered handles on Amazon and they're so cheap. Oh my God, y'all. And they are too long, like the, the handle itself for my cabinet. So what I mean by that, so I had bought the knobs first, right? And I liked the knobs. So this is what the knobs looked like. 
okay this is what i just wanted sleek small but honestly this even this looks cheap now that i'm looking at it like i don't like that i mean i do like it but like no so and they're like so light like my these handles that were on here before are very heavy duty so i'm like okay i need to get something like that girl but that's not even when these i don't know this is like light as a feather ah, ah. okay hold on where's the one i already opened okay number one but you see the vibe i was going for but then the girl why is hanging past the can y'all see that it's too long so it, it matches up with the holes but it's too long so i just said forget it i'm gonna stop trying to be cheap and i'm gonna go to because this was like 30 dollars for all of them <laughs> so that's why but um, I'm going to invest just a little bit more money into it. If I was in an apartment, I would totally keep these because, like, the fuck? But since this is my, I'm not going to say my forever home, but this is my house, I'm going to go ahead and just invest in some better knobs. So I also need to do that. Um, so they're coming and taking this today, too. So, and then we have a Pilates class at noon. So we got a lot to do. So we need to go. Hey, got my matcha. Mm -mm. Bam, okay friends we are at the home depot let's hope this is a oh my god i hate when i like drink stuff this is what i mean i need to get my gut health checked um i hope the people here are as nice as the ones that were at the other one that i went to i don't know where i'm supposed to go fingers crossed Thank you. I don't have change, but you take this and get you something to eat and do what you need to do for the day, okay? God bless you. You're welcome. Um, okay. Order pickup. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm going to ask her. Excuse me, for two rental, where would I go? Thank you. I'm gonna find out. Uh, tool rental? Tool Straight rental. Down. Or, well, it's a yeah, truck yeah, rental, right one, but. Okay, thank you. you. Under the pro services? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. We got the best deals, too. They're gonna hook you up. Thanks. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, I have an 8:30 rental for a flatbed truck under. A You'll be keeping it for one day. Just for a few hours. A few hours. Yeah, it'll be back right before noon. Oh, we'll just go ahead and put you in for four hours. Yeah? Thank you. Uh, the four-hour rate will be 87.75 plus 7.82. So we give it away and don't pay it back. <laughs> we'll begin billing you each week until you do, and that charge weekly is typically going to be 903 dollars. Mm. And we'll do that until you bring it back, or until we reach 43,700 dollars. Already. Has that ever happened? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What are they? Okay. Am I responsible for gas? And you are. Okay. In fact, we're sending you out with. Okay. And you can start coming back with a quarter or greater. Okay. Otherwise, we have to charge you ten dollars per gallon to ten per gallon. Yeah. Ooh, to ooh. Plenty of <laughs> How you doing? Doing great, thank you. And we can take the crosswalk or we can walk up the grass. It's up to you, I don't mind. Okay, well number one, everyone was very nice in Home Depot. You know what, honestly, Home Depot people are just very nice people. Okay. This truck, and it is so nasty. Is there? Okay, that's moving the seat back and forward. The seat doesn't, okay, that moves up. But what about like up? I'm too low. Oh God, I feel like um, y'all ever, or maybe that was moving it up. Oh, I think, oh, this is as high up as it goes. Sick joke. I feel like Bow Wow and like Mike, when he was driving, where's the gas? Y'all think I can get to Duluth with a quarter of a tank? I cannot. This should be illegal. I don't understand how I'm able to, to rent this. First of all, I can't even see. How do you, um... 
I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm having a fucking panic attack right now. I need to calm the fuck down. Child, I don't know. I guess I just, I think I should just ride the whole way with my hazards on because I feel like I'm a hazard to the road right now. I should probably just put some gas in it. There's a gas station literally right here. All right. Um, how do I put it in drive? Oh, oh I need to go reverse. Beeps. Y'all, I have no idea. Hold on. I'm going to just get out of this car and ask these people. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. I seen somebody earlier. Hey, good, how are you? Good. Is this where I come for pickup? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You good now? I didn't know if I needed to check in somewhere else or? No, ma'am, we Okay. What all information do you need from me? Just the last. I don't think I was scheduled for any day. It came in about a week ago. And then y'all gave me a call yesterday that it's here instead of on Horizon. Well, that you're moving. I'm in this little pickup. How oh, are uh, you? Okay. Okay. If you can go back to me? I think I can do that. All right. Please. Okay. <laughs> How far? All the way? Uh, you can come, yeah, you can come all the way back up here. Okay. Sure. Thank you. The easy peasy lemon squeezy. He was looking at me like, can you back it in? I'm like, honestly, sir, no, but we're going to try. I don't know what that sound is. Okay. Let me take my emergency brake off, put it in dry. And we, we is in the money, baby. Call me, call me Bob the Builder. Maybe not that, but you can call me something. I surely can't see out my back window though. Let me stop driving like a maniac. Mm. Okay, y'all. Well, headed home with my pieces. I didn't realize I was gonna have to put it together. Suddenly, I could have waited till January. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm about to take this stuff home. And yeah. Y'all know what I just thought about though? If I would have known it came in a box, I could have just put it in my truck. I thought that the table was gonna be put together and like the legs. I'm an idiot. I really could have put this in my car, I think. Whatever, fun experience. I got to drive a pickup truck. Check that off my bucket list. Woohoo! We're back in Big Pearl. So the table and the chairs are at the house. Uh, I just have to put it together. So we might do that today, depending on, you know, the way the day goes. I think we should be able to, but we'll see. Um, so it's 11.10. My Pilates studio is about 20 minutes from here. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Pilates. When I drop the table off, I went ahead and put my Align tank on in case I wanna take my jacket off at um, Pilates. So let's get to it. Oh, I also filled up my water bottle because my mouth is so dry. I be so thirsty, y'all. Well, well, yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Well, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's because they live at the high. Hey. Oh, F step team stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the meat sealed up. I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause a neck is a frame. Per. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines. Do it. Breaking and bending the spine. Do it. Do it. I hate a privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since he signs. Do it. Niggas be full of excuses after they taking their time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the times that I had to go slide. Too many sticks. We go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Too many sticks. How is that your ops? None of them died. Listen. Hold up, 21. Hold up, 21. Hold up, 21. Why you pull up at 1 in the morning to sit on the edge of the bed? What? Texting emojis, tongue out, airplane, must have went over her head. Catching my side of the studio, making repeat what he said. Listen. Yeah, yeah, let's have sex in the car. The Maybach came with a bar. 
I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass, he got hit in the head from far. Puts ops get under body attention, I give them my all. Oh God, how you come over the spot when you know it's your time of the month? How? Make a distance, see how fast you go from the boot to a blunt. Just finished. Um, that. And I actually recorded. I didn't get to say where I wanted to sit, but that's okay. Um, that was one of the most difficult classes that I've done at this location. And hey, Tola, if you're watching this, um, me and she was she's a subscriber, but we were doing it together, and I was like, oh my god, that was so hard. And she was like, I did one way more difficult last week. I was like, oh my god. Um, yeah, like not like solid core difficult, but for something to be so low, like intensity it was pretty freaking intense um so now uh we're gonna go home and i think we have enough time to put the table and the chairs together so that'll be fun on the rooftop and then i'm gonna take these tapes out girl and we're gonna try out those clippings right y'all so we're in my <laughs> this is the bathroom this is my third bathroom i don't think you guys have ever even no y'all have been in here before but this is my hair bathroom, basically. Like, I'm talking the shower don't even, I have never turned the shower on since I moved in this house and apparently that makes your shower not work. So let me take this jacket off, cause this is hot. So my shower don't even work in here. But anyway, oh, I don't have a towel up here. God damn it. I'm gonna have to go get one. Um, we're washing my clip-ins. So these are both packs. This is a 1B and a two. And I'm washing them because I told y'all they're just too freaking silky and i want to see if they get a little rough because the reviews kind of said after the first wash they weren't as like silky and stuff and i'm like okay cool um and people were complaining about that but me personally i need a little texture okay because i'm gonna try to put these in my hair tonight i put them in my hooded dryer i was gonna put them in my dryer dryer like my clothing dryer i said let me not do that and i'm not gonna condition them i'm literally just going to wash them um and i'm using this um monday shampoo this is what i use whenever i just need to wash some extensions right quick oh i thought i took my ring off so they're very straight that's for sure and i don't wear my hair straight but i thought about wearing it straight tonight i was like let me just see i think all the shampoo is out so i'm gonna Fit these in my hooded dryer so they can dry them and just twist it upside down and put the hair in there. Ooh, I need a towel. I have to take these chairs out. So these are the dining chairs for my rooftop. I feel like this should be really easy to put together. <laughs> Keyword, feel like, oh, they're already together. <laughs> I thought I had to put them together. Oh, I love that for me, okay. That will be my construction for the day. Okay. Sadly now. Okay. Well, let me break these boxes down. Take this. Type of thing. Okay. If you're wondering why the chairs are here, I just felt like, I thought I had to put them together. So I was like, oh baby, just leave them right there. That way we don't have to carry it all the way up and I'll put them together and carry the chairs. I was like, cause that box wasn't even really that heavy to begin with. And I was like, these chairs aren't gonna be that heavy. Oh, are they like tape? Oh, they are taped together, okay. I'll just show you guys the chairs for now though, so you can see them. of furniture it's like you're never gonna use it like me with my dining table like i'm sorry i will never use that it's there i mean granted i definitely can't use it right now because of all the stuff everywhere but what i'm trying to say is even once all that's done i probably will never sit in my dining table it's literally just for decoration you know 
No, like y'all don't understand how ready I am for my rooftop to be done. But I'm gonna have to force myself to go up there and utilize it. So I never, ow, I never go up there. And I try to blame it on the fact that it was ugly. It wasn't ugly, it just, it was ugly. It just wasn't my kind of a vibe. Like, why would I go up there and sit up there for that? So I'm trying to convince myself that since I invested this money to make it pretty, that I will go up there. When in reality, we all know that the main reason I do not go up there is because it's up four flights of freaking stairs. Like, what the hell? But I am gonna get an outdoor fridge out there. That's just a really big investment. Um, like an outdoor mini fridge. I'm gonna figure it out. But I'm gonna put a fridge up there that'll keep like drinks, water, wine. So when I'm up there, so that's another downfall when you're up there is don't leave nothing downstairs, child, because you are not gonna wanna come back down. It's so annoying. All right, chairs done. I'm gonna take this stuff to the trash, then take them up, and I'll take y'all up there in a minute. Upstairs to just kind of look at the flooring and look at those edger strips that we got from Ikea to see how it closed up the gaps. It doesn't. The edgers are like this big, but the gaps that I have are like that big. So I think I'm actually gonna go on to um, like task rabbit and like those kinds of things and find somebody to actually finish the flooring because to be honest I don't want to cut the turf either so I'm gonna find somebody to come do this because I just I can't I can't do it anymore I'm sick sick of it <laughs> I'll probably either do that today tonight tomorrow at some point uh, so we can get that roof done because it's right there it's almost so anyways, I'm going to edit um, day one of Vlogmas and then take my tapes out and we'll go through my wash routine for my hair. Um, and then hopefully those clip-ins will work out for us. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Stiff, where? Stiff everywhere. I took my tapes out. Well, what was left in the back. Um, my hair is so oily. We're about to wash it. And we're gonna try these tape-ins, girlfriend. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm washing my hair with. So I've started using the Whey shampoo and conditioners. Uh, I have the one for fine hair because clearly, look at how little bit of hair. Yeah, so I have very fine hair, so that's the one that I use. I also have their um, treatment mask. I've been using this, there's like barely any in here. <laughs> it's actually really sad. Well, okay, there's like a half a jar in here. There would still have a good, decent amount. But what I do is I kind of mix the two, like the conditioner and the mask, after I wash my hair with this. So I'll link this down below if anybody cares. But yeah, so I'm going to get in the shower, wash my body, wash my hair. And then we're going to get cute because we're going to Taco Tuesday with Caitlin, Alexis, and Ogwe tonight. Should be really fun. We're, well, I'm trying to, I don't know if they've been before. I've never been. But we're trying this new taco spot. So the taco spot's not new. It's new to me. So let's get in the shower. Oh, and I finished editing yesterday's Vlogmas. So we're ahead. And I love that for me. Hey, y'all. Oh, clearly the click the the tape ends did not work out i don't know why i thought mm -mm. that hair texture all wrong my hair texture just can't hold tapes it's just not it okay so we're about to go get talk caitlin has stressed to be on time because she is hungry it is 7 38 and i'm gonna walk out the door when this just before it is from juice crew juice crop i never know how to say it um, I wore it basically exactly the same. I wore it with the same bag, except I had a different pair of boots on when I wore it. I wore it with my YSL boots this time, last time. But this time, I'm wearing it with my new um, Gia Borbini, Borghini boots. And it gets super cute. Super duper cute. So, uh, yeah. All right, y'all, so we made it. We're going to pizza. Oh, that. Mine's about to be tasty. That's yeah. like I put tray. I put trail. Oh, hey, I'm holding my knee. Hey, y'all. I got the gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I'm just about to How many? 
<laughs> but not as bad. I was picking out the outfit. It was because I got a We just finished at the taco place. It was really good. I would give it like a nine out of ten. I didn't drink alcohol. My drinks were mocktails, so I can't tell you how the drinks are. But my mocktail was cool. So we're gonna go get hookah now at Swanye. Um, I have to stop by the house for something, and I'm getting Uno cards because we're gonna play Uno at Swanye. So. Okay, go and shuffle these fat ass cards. They're so hard to shuffle. Y'all better not be trying to cheat either. You see this? Playing Uno, y'all, and Alexis, she don't realize I'm finna get her ass. She got, she got me on her car. If you just hold your car back, let me. Back home, guys. So I'm back home. We had a great little night. Little fun little taco Tuesday girls night. It's 11:15. Back home at a decent hour so that I can do my skincare and be. I am not kidding. I didn't drink. I'm very proud of myself. I'm going, I'm not going like no drinking, no drinking. But I social drink so much. Like, hold on, I'm gonna turn you off so I can sit down and take my shoes off. See, there it goes again. What is this? My my um my tripod's broken. Okay, so what I was trying to say is that I go out, you know, I be with my friends and we go to dinners and I just, you know, you go to dinner. Alcohol is everywhere in America. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't even have a serious conversation. I thought putting the long socks on was gonna make that easier to take off. Ooh. Ooh, my feet. Okay. Anyways, y'all, what I'm basically saying is that I'm not just gonna be drinking just because I'm out no more. That's basically what I'm saying. If I'm going like out, out, like, okay, we're celebrating something cool. But just because we had dinner, I'm getting mocktails. So everything I drank tonight was a mocktail. And everyone was looking at me so crazy. Like all the servers and um, the bartenders. I was like, yeah, can you make me a margarita but like with no tequila? And it was like, excuse me? And I was like, yeah. So like instead of tequila, can you just give me soda water? <laughs> and they literally, oh my God. Somebody please, please get my boot. Can y'all hear Rosanna meowing? Because she's locked in the bath in the bedroom. I tried to get her to come out earlier, she didn't want to, so that's what happens. And before I forget, this Vlogmas's episodes, <laughs> what? This Vlogmas's giveaway is going to be a Lululemon Define jacket, AKA the jacket I was wearing earlier today. All you have to do for this giveaway is in your comment below, leave the color that you want and not, don't say blue green, it needs to be the Lululemon color and your Instagram name. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna pick and you'll find out tomorrow if you won. So, anyways, um, uh, help me. Hey girl, what's wrong mama? You was locked in the room so you mad. I told you to come out. All right y'all, well I'm gonna take this makeup off, go to bed and I will see y'all in tomorrow.